I'm Shauna Reynolds bringing you the Week 2 matchups where the South Florida Bulls take on the Florida Gators. Questions regarding how South Florida would respond after the firing of former head coach Jim Levitt have been answered as the Bulls opened their season with a win against Stony Brook. Quarterback B.J. Daniels threw for two touchdowns and the defense capitalized on all of Stony Brook's mistakes. Look for the Bulls to continue with a successful passing game and for wide receiver Evan Landy to step up and lead the way for the Bulls. For South Florida to be successful against Florida, it's imperative that they hold on to the football and they reduce those penalties. Florida's coming off of a win this week against Miami of Ohio, where they didn't quite live up to the expectations of the post-Tebow era. The offense as a whole produced a very lackluster performance. You can expect to see the Gators relying more on the passing game as quarterback John Brantley isn't quite as mobile as Tebow was. Also look for wide receivers Chris Rainey and Omarius Hines to step up and make some big plays for the Gators this week. Heading into this week, head coach Urban Meyer's goals have to be to decrease fumbles, decrease bad snaps, penalties, and poor throws. It's back to the basics for the Gators this week and it's going to begin with discipline for them. For the Gators to win, it's imperative that their offense starts clicking on all cylinders. They can't rely on their defense to win this game. And for South Florida to win, it's important that they execute to perfection on both sides of the ball. My pick this week is going to be the Florida Gators by two touchdowns. To see more of my previews, visit the football game plan dot com forward slash NCAA or visit the YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash football game plan.